progress in our understanding of the universe through physics over the past quarter century has been exploring deeper levels of natural law from the macroscopic to the microscopic from the molecular to the atomic to the nuclear to subnuclear levels of nature's functioning so called electroweak unified scale grand unified scale super unified scale and what we've discovered at the core basis of the universe the foundation of the universe is a single universal field of intelligence a field which unites gravity with electromagnetism light with radioactivity with the nuclear force so that all the forces of nature and all the so-called particles of nature quarks leptons protons neutrons are now understood to be just different ripples on a single ocean of existence that's called the unified field or super string field a single universal field of intelligence an ocean of existence at the basis of everything mind and matter and all the so-called particles of the universe the forces in our universe everything in the universe are just ripples of on that ocean of existence that's the unified field and that field is not as a non-material field planets trees people animals we're all just waves of vibration of this underlying unified superstring field we're li really living in a thought universe a conceptual universe quantum mechanics is just the play and display of potentiality so the point i'm making is the deeper you go in the structure of natural law the less material the less inert the less dead the universe is the more alive the more conscious the universe becomes then when you get to the foundation of the universe the unified field or super strength field it's simply a field of pure intelligence intelligence because it's the fountainhead of all the laws of nature all the fundamental forces all the fundamental particles all the laws governing life at every level of the universe have their unified source in the unified field that makes the unified field the most concentrated field of intelligence in nature non-material dynamic intelligence those are the properties of the unified field so as you said the tighter physics have tried to grasp on to physical reality to understand what it's really made of what are the core building blocks of life at the basis of it all life the universe slips through your fingers and you come up with something that's increasingly abstract increasingly abstract to the come to the realm of pure abstraction and that's what the unified field is it's pure abstract potential which rises in waves of vibration to give rise to the particles the people everything we see in the vast universe physicists give this a name they call it our quantum wave function because it seems wavy um, however this wave function isn't just a wave of matter like an ocean wave or a sound wave or any kind of wave of matter it's a wave of possibility it's a kind of thought wave and because it is a wave of thought or possibility or not matter uh, it's invisible to us but we can't explain what we do see as matter in these small corners of space and time unless we picture that these matter particles somehow come out from or emerge from these thought wave patterns which are invisible to us quantum mechanics is really the play and display of information the play and display of potentiality waves of information waves of potential electron and it's important the word potential this isn't the world of electrons it's the world of potential electrons but when you have you have to ask the question waves of what really what is the field that is waving is it the ocean no, it's a universal ocean, an ocean of pure potentiality, an ocean of abstract potential existence. We call it the unified field or superstring field. And that's what we're made of.